And so this video begins in the land of Oz. Today we will be following the yellow brick road. No, we're not in Kansas anymore, definitely not in Tampa. How did I get to Cocoa Beach? Welcome to Cocoa Beach, Florida, folks. We're gonna go inside here and check out this Wizard of Oz Museum, but first, there's a few things out on the sidewalk of the busy street of Atlantic Avenue that I wanna show you. Also, a giant Wizard of Oz sign here for the business and some other stuff. I'll get you my pretty and your little dog too. That's exactly how she said it, right? I don't think this is Kansas anymore, Toto. Judy Garland, a sign pointing towards the establishment. Also, a very creepy Tin Man. Look at that. Oh, also, he's got an ax. This one definitely has a heart. This reminds me more of the storybook version of The Wizard of Oz. I like that axe there, it's huge. Oh yes, not two, but three tin men along the sidewalk. Ooh, it got quiet, the traffic died down. Let's hurry up and get inside. Let's do this. Oh, there's much ahead. And if you're looking for the Wizard of Oz Museum, it's right here on North Atlantic Avenue, just a couple miles north of the pier, right here on Cocoa Beach. Cocoa Beach, a place that is dear to my heart for many reasons, one being my beautiful fiance who dropped me off here today. She's out exploring, making her video. She used to live here in this area. She grew up here. Also, Cocoa Beach was one of the first spots my family ever vacationed to in Florida all those years ago, back in the 90s. The Wizard of Oz, huge fan when I was a kid. Love this movie, 1939 classic. I remember on TNT sometime in the mid 90s when they advertised Wizard of Oz for the last time seen on television ever again. I had to put in my VHS uh, tape and record it. Oh, yep, that was me. I was like, oh no. The last time I got to record this so I still have that VHS tape maybe I'll share it sometime long story short back to the point I found this museum I was like oh my gosh I love the Wizard of Oz I had no idea that this existed and I've got to come check it out so here we are long story short we're not in Kansas anymore we're gonna go check out this awesome place hopefully it's awesome we'll see when we get there you never know there's much ahead let's go check it out follow the yellow brick road Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Oh, this is so cool. And to the right of the entrance to Emerald City, you have all the characters. Cardboard cutout. Wicked Witch. Dorothy. Toto. The Lion. The Tin Man. And the Scarecrow. How about a little fire, Scarecrow? It's one of my favorite lines. And it looks like their hours are Monday through Sunday, 8 to 5. And their last guest will be admitted at 4 p.m. So there you go. And welcome to the gift shop before the museum. Tons of Wizard of Oz merchandise in here. Not just of the movies, but of the book. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. There's the actual novel there by L. Frank Baum. Pictures by W.W. Dinslow. The gentleman said that this book is 123 years old. That's a fun fact for you. Didn't realize the Wizard of Oz was that old. Also, paid up. $29.99 for an admission price came out came out to about 32 bucks and then we'll be going through these doors over here to the immersive experience there is so much memorabilia in here this is also a museum itself with all the pop culture of Wizard of Oz movie posters there's Walt Disney's Oz also enjoy that film as well look at this old poster I'll get you my pretty in your little vlog too. This is a cool shirt. There's no place like home, the Wizard of Oz Museum, Florida. WizardofOzFlorida.com. There is so much to see just here in the gift shop as you walk in. All this stuff is for sale too. All kinds of things. Even uh, cards. The wonderful Wizard of Oz. Sticky notebook too. So much stuff. Look at that clock. That's a cool clock. 20 bucks. And there's even a Wizard of Oz Christmas tree here. Full of ornaments. Wizard of Oz ornaments that you can purchase. Especially liking the ruby red slippers. Oh look, it's for the museum. That's cool. Cape Canaveral, Florida. Also, when I think of Wizard of Oz, I always think of that scene from A Christmas Story. When the characters are walking in the parade and through the mall. 
kind of go hand in hand with Christmas to me because of that scene. And speaking of a Christmas story, look, a little nod to it in The Wizard of Oz. The gentleman heard me talking, making that last comment about the Christmas story, and he says, hey, check out the lamp over there. Just like the lamp from A Christmas Story. They got it with a Wicked Witch of the West. That's cool, okay. That's worth 125 bucks, definitely. So there are over 40 Wizard of Oz novels, and they're all represented here behind the counter. Look at this, I didn't know there were so many. All of these books, Jack Pumpkinhead of Oz, The Lost King of Oz, Grandpa in Oz, just reading a few that stand out to me, Speedy in Oz, and of course the original, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. I didn't know the second, the sequel was The Marvelous Land of Oz. This immersive Wizard of Oz tour mostly deals with the scenes from the novel, the original, that didn't make the movie. And also he said there is an actual copy of the original in there by Frank Baum. And there are props from the movie. There's like a few props from the actual movie. All right, now it's time to get in the museum. Off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. And we're gonna head in there. There's a ton of stuff to see out here. There is so much Wizard of Oz stuff. When we come out of the museum, I'll probably highlight some more stuff. Okay guys, I have been dropped off in the museum portion. There are over 2,000 artifacts, Wizard of Oz, in here. And some cool stuff to see. Now obviously I can't show you all 2,000 artifacts, but I got a little sneak peek, a little tour from the owner Mike, and I'm gonna highlight the important stuff, especially for you Wizard of Oz fans. Not just the movie, but the novel. A very carefully and well-made cataloged Wizard of Oz. It starts in 1850. Check out these masks up here above this case. These are pretty creepy, pretty cool. But in this glass, the original books of the Wizard of Oz. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, written in 1900. This is an original book by Frank Baum. There's Frank Baum right there. This whole glass, this everything in this case, is all from the Baum family. There's a family photograph of Frank reading to uh, his two sons, the Wizard of Oz. And in here, there's a diary, one of Frank Baum's personal diaries. And it's, look at that, so beautiful. Look at the picture. More than a ton of the original books right here in the case written by Frank. Also, I was pointed out that this book, which is signed by Frank Baum, who died before this person actually received it, but this book right here belonged to Shirley Temple. That's what I was told when I was brought in here and gave him the little tour. Shirley Temple once had this one. And there's a signature right there. She wanted to be Dorothy. She actually wanted to be the role of Judy Garland, Dorothy, and she didn't work for MGM at the time, so she didn't get it. Uh, Judy ultimately beat her out for the role. All kinds of creepy Wizard of Oz postcards in here. Look at this. And on the end of this island cap, you got one of the guards. That looks like a real baboon. Yeah, I think it was. A little taxidermy there. And they put turkey wings on him. He's on a yellow brick road. It's bizarre and I like it. Wizard of Oz always had that like kind of on the cusp of being scary, just because some of the characters, and it was very dark, as you know, if you've seen the movie, especially with a rumor that someone actually hung themselves in one of the scenes, remember that? Like if you looked in the back, you would see like someone hanging from a tree, one of the scenes, do you remember that? That was always creepy. Glinda of Oz is actually the last book of Wizard of Oz that L. Frank Baum wrote before he died. So there were other authors that carried on and wrote after him, and these are some of the books. These were written by Ruth Plumley Thompson. Oh, look at this. The Wonderful Game of Oz. One of the original Wizard of Oz board games. Okay, this is beautiful. I don't see a description, but a, obviously a, a ceramic picnic basket full of roses and toto. There's a big one there, and a much smaller one there. Look at the doggy. Toto. Okay. This is a prop from the movie, original MGM 1939 Wizard of Oz, Winky Guard Spear, in this case. Look at this. This is cool. 
This was actually used in the movie. And I think that, oh yeah, they have some screenshots here to show you. It could be, it could very well be one you're about to see in the screenshot. This is neat. Check this out. And there they are holding the spears. Oh, we oh. Oh, oh. Winky spearhead from the Wizard of Oz, designed by Gilbert Adrian. An ornate silver spear made of cast aluminum and an inverted griffin design. Oh, we oh. Oh, oh. oh, oh. That was always kind of haunting, kind of intimidating sound. That song, oh, we oh. Oh, oh. this is one of those spears. That's, that's freaking sick. So cool. Probably the most significant item, memorabilia they have in here. The dress. One of the dresses worn by Judy Garland in the movie. This is one of the dresses she wore as Dorothy. That is incredible. Also, some ruby slippers. Let's get a little closer. I'm getting goosebumps. She actually wore this in the movie. That's incredible. And I was told that her name, Judy Garland, is actually stitched inside of this dress somewhere. Can't see it from here. But they call this uh, Dorothy dress uh, number seven. The seventh dress was obtained by Wizard of Oz Museum based on the provenance purchased at a MGM auction and sold in the early 1990s to a private collector. The collector parted with the dress on Dece in December 2022. The dress is all the characteristics of the original dress. It has a hidden pocket in the name of Judy Garland on the tag of the number 4461-1. So you can read about all of the dresses used in the movie right here and where they're located. The one I was just reading about here, number seven. Also, there's some photographs of the name written inside the dress there and how it looks. They took photographs for you. Some magazines, some photos, and even to the right, a jacket worn by Judy, like a fur coat. And look, her name, her initials stitched inside. And there's a photograph of her wearing that same jacket that's in this case. And I was just in New York a couple weeks ago and I learned that Judy once had an apartment or a, a loft at the Dakota, the same building that uh, John Lennon lived in and also Boris Karloff. They all lived in the same apartment building. The Dakota, they're on Central Park West. This is cool to see this jacket. And this jacket can be seen in the 1939 classic Wizard of Oz. This is a screen used worn jacket that you see at Emerald City, I believe in the end. Emerald City Townsman jacket from the Wizard of Oz 1939. So this was worn by one of the townsmen of Emerald City, which I believe would have been, uh, man, it's been a while towards the end of the film. I definitely remember seeing the jackets like these. This is so cool. This can actually be seen in the Wizard of Oz. And I was just pointed out these Wizard of Oz twine dispensers. Dorothy there is the example. She has the twine coming out of her mouth, but these were from the 1940s. And this is the whole set of all the characters. The Wizard of Oz, yeah. I guess if you needed twine, you needed a place to store it, so why not hide it out in Dorothy? Or perhaps the Wicked Witch, Toto, Tin Man. <laughs> you pick a character. That's pretty neat. Wizard of Oz card game. Look at this. Circa 1930s. This was right after the movie. Actually, it says 1930s and 40s. Wizard of Oz came out in 1939. A lot of cool cards there. Scenes from the film. So there are three full aisles full of memorabilia here. Some on the end, some on the side. Over 2,000 items in here. This is crazy, this is nuts. This is cool. There's a whole section in here devoted to Wicked, the Broadway version of The Wizard of Oz, of course. All kinds of memorabilia for Wicked. I'm just gonna kinda let the camera roll. We're gonna head into the immersive experience in a few seconds, but I just wanna quickly kinda highlight some of the stuff in here. Again, over 2,000 items. Look at these teapots. Everything's so cool. I've got to highlight the 1986 calendar, Return to Oz. Also, this whole display case is Return to Oz. Look at this. 
Who's a fan of that? I really enjoyed the movie. Put 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 him up. Put him put him put him up. Oh, I can't really do a good line, but gosh, I love these characters. So good. Whoa, talk about awesome. Look at this. What a photo opportunity. It's all the characters right here before you enter the immersive experience. Also, you got the Wicked Witch of the West. And some of the guards here. That's creepy. I have a feeling I'm not in Tampa anymore. Oh. <laughs> I'm a little fire scarecrow. These are seriously awesome though. Look at this. Dorothy in the lion. He always got his little badge. His badge of courage. I'm glad you finally got your courage line. Okay, this is something I've always wanted to do. Here you go, buddy. They always kind of made it look that simple in the movie too. Just a little... Was there anything really coming out of that can? <laughs> okay, goals. Oh, and I failed to see the little Toto here. And the ruby slippers, of course. Dorothy. I'll get you, my pretty. And your little dog, too. <laughs> Always scared me, that witch. And these. Okay. And now it's time to enter the immersive experience. There's a lot of music going on in here. We're gonna see what happens. This should be fun. Feel free to skip and dance, but no running. Oh, wow. This is awesome. Welcome to the Emerald City. There's like animals everywhere. Oh, this is so cool. Where am I right now? So I guess the room changes scenes. It's on a loop, but we're gonna be in different sections, different chapters of the original Wizard of Oz book. The scenes that got cut out of the movie. There's Oz down there. I guess we're supposed to dance along. There's Dorothy over here. I'm glad I brought my dancing shoes. Off to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Hey, this is fun. Okay, so the room's beginning to change. Wow, look at this. Whoa. Okay, this is cool. If you travel over the rainbow to discover memories old and new, you will find them here, the Wizard of Oz Museum. This is awesome. Never stop dreaming. It's on a loop, I may have caught the like tail end of it, so it might just actually start over right here. Oh look, it's like you're walking. Okay. Okay, this is the Van Gogh experience. So yeah, it's on a loop. So this is the last scene. We're gonna stop and uh, we'll pick up where it actually starts. Yeah, look at this. Wow, the flowers are, whoa. That's so cool. It's even on the bench now. Whoa, that's creepy and awesome. Smoking. Van Gogh. Amazing. Okay, so the loop. And so it begins with a tornado. I think this is the beginning of the Wizard of Oz immersive experience. This is it. Has to be. We're in Kansas. So cool. There's the windmill. We've got cows. Look at this, you can actually walk on the Yellow Brick Road. Whoa. Amazing. And there's a scene in the novel, they were telling me before I came in here, a scene from the novel didn't make the movie where the Tin Man is actually proposing to one of the munchkins. Right there on that bridge. Kind of creepy. Look at this, river of rats. Oh, I know some people that wouldn't be able to be in here right now. Look, they just keep coming. 
Holy cow, also, there's a wagon coming. Look at that, the rats are pulling the wagon. This must be from the Wizard of Oz. And look at him go. This is amazing. <laughs> so awesome. And look, it's like 4D experience. There's the top of the wagon, the center of the floor. Also, there's the side. Well, the, li the lion's on the wagon, so the Tin Man and the Scarecrow's pushing the wagon and the rats are pulling it. Look at this. Oh, this is neato. And kind of creepy. Here they go. Okay, so here's the next scene. Ooh, spooky. For today's creature feature. Oh yeah, I like this one. Got the witch. Got a pumpkin guy with jack-o'-lantern. Skeleton. Yeah, we're in the witch's castle for sure. Wow, look at this. Oh, there they are, the guards. Look at the skeleton coming. Oh, creepy. Hello. It's coming right behind me. Oh no. Whoa. Here comes the magic. Three holes in the wall. Okay, next scene. Look at this. Unchained melody. Oh, Stevens Quintet. Okay, they're actually shouting out the artists. That's cool. Welcome to outer space. Southern Ring Nubula. Oh, we're actually in the cosmos. <laughs> There's the sun. And there goes us. There's the Earth. Okay, this is cool. There's Mars. Watch out! Oh, it's gonna hit the planet. That scared me. And we have made it to Emerald City. So beautiful. Look at this. And we made it all the way around. Look at this. Off to see the wizard. The wonderful Wizard of Oz. Wow, what a great thing to do here. Here's a piggy. Okay. I did an entire loop. I've been in here an hour. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. I love that scene. <laughs> this is cool. Welcome to Oz, my friends. Come check them out here at Cocoa Beach. This is amazing. Okay, that was fun. Wow. Honestly, when I came in here, I didn't think I was going to spend this much time in here. And I could go, 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 and go. You could spend all day in here. I'd say come early if you really want to see everything in this little museum, this Wizard of Oz. Little is an understatement. It is huge. So give yourself plenty of time. Don't come until, don't come to four o'clock. They close at five. So make sure you get here. Give yourself plenty of time. You need at least a couple hours, I'd say. Okay, off to the side of the museum. Check this out. Munchkin Land. A little place for the kiddos if they don't want to tour the museum they can come into munchkin land and just chill out and play with toys and whatnot look at this oh this is so cool i like this little toy chest down here whoever created that look at that the wizard of oz this is impressive <laughs> tin man in the corner all right munchkin land but wait there's more how about a creepy dorothy puppet hi there's no place like home. Oh, oh. Okay. I'm not really good at puppeteering. I actually make it look very awkward and creepy. I can't get her head right. Uh, uh, okay, I'm just gonna quit. Right, quit, quit. No place like home. Here's a cool display. Margaret Hamill, who played the Wicked Witch of the West. Jack Haley as the Tin Man. And Ray Bolger as the Scarecrow. And it looks like... They autographed this 8x10 photo. Yeah, Jack and uh, Roy, Ray, they both autographed this. And also, Margaret, if you look on her chin there, Margaret also autographed this photo as well. So these are all autographs from the characters. The Tin Man, the Witch, and the Scarecrow. That's cool. Wizard of Oz character cows. Really like the Tin Man cow. They've got all the characters, even the witch. This is adorable. Oh, there's more over here. The rest of the characters. Okay, so there we go. I've seen a lot of stuff in here. 
I could come back and probably do a whole different video, show you stuff that I didn't show you just because there's so much. So much to see. Also this bicycle over here, like in the beginning of the film. Not the same one, but it looks like the witch's bike. So if you're a fan of Wizard of Oz, I strongly recommend you get over here and check this out. Remember my sentimental friend that a heart is not judged by how much you love, but by how much you are loved by others. The Tin Man, Wizard of Oz. Such a great line. And one more last stroll through the gift shop. I'm checking out these t-shirts over here. The Wizard of Oz Museum, Space Coast, Florida. And it's got one of the guards there. Protected by flying monkey. That's a clever. And on the back it says brains, heart, courage. If I only had a brain, a heart, or courage. And I'm just going to show you. These are all the scenes that I went through in the immersive room. It's a twister, munchkin land, the mice save the lion, the witch's castle, flying through the universe, and uh, I believe the Van, Van Gogh. That's the last scene. So these were all actually chapters that did not make it into the, the film. These were in the books. So that's everything we saw. Scarecrow Jack in the Box. That's amazing. Off to see the wizard. $80. Now Jack in the Box used to scare me when I was a kid, but this one's pretty cool just because it's Wizard of Oz. Okay, I made it. Look at this. Where is this? Is this Florida? Well, it ain't Kansas. And I have reached the destination right here in this plaza, Kelsey's Pizza Eats and Vines. A place I've eaten with Chris the Girl before. We actually ate up here about a year and a half ago when we came for a horror convention called Horrorville. We got here the night before. We went to Ron John's surf shop. We walked around on the beach and we came to Kelsey's. And she actually grew up eating at Kelsey's. That's the reason why we came here. It was some good pie. So that's why we're meeting here. Also, something called the Preacher Bar. And the fiance. I'm back. You picked me up. It was actually, well, actually you didn't have to pick me up. You met me at the pizza spot. It was mm -hmm. only a mile from the Wizard of Oz Museum. Yeah, it worked out. I told them kind of what you were doing. You were going down memory lane. Yes, yes. So I'm anxious to check out the video. Live vicariously once again. We did the tour. We did, yeah. The only reason really that you didn't come with me is because you you saw it all. We did it all off camera yeah. last year. I showed you my high school, my middle school, my old home. I, I showed you all that stuff. And I loved it. Actually, uh, before we even met up, I was doing a video in Cocoa huh? Beach and I came by. You told me you went to Cocoa High mm -hmm. and uh, you were still in Pennsylvania and I drove by and I sent you a picture. You did, yeah. I had Very to see surreal. it. Very surreal. And then a couple months later, we were there together. Yep. Yep. And now it's on video, now so video. you can go see Chris the Girl's stomping grounds. And also, it's, it's pizza it's time. It. There it is. Kelsey's. Did you tell him we ate here before? I told him we ate here once before. I'm excited. I'm hungry. Me too. It's 4 o'clock and uh, it's dinner time. Okay, it is much less busier this time than last time. You can actually see the stuff. Very cool nautical vibe. And they are affiliated with the Preacher Bar next door. I guess Kelsey's is in cahoots with the Preacher Bar, which I was looking. It's more like a tiki bar. Starting off with garlic bread. You look gorgeous. You're welcome. And uh, whole cheese pizza all to ourselves. It's good. I really enjoyed it last time. Mm -hmm. It's very different, very unique pizza. It, I love pizzas that are not necessarily New York or Chicago, the ones in between. Always very interesting. You said the pizza tastes like your childhood? It does. We got this all the time. It's a chain restaurant. Thank you. Thank you. And um, so we, we ate this all the time. Yeah. That was my second time. We gotta make this a Cocoa Beach tradition. We are, yeah. Kelsey's. Okay, pizza was great. Let's check out the Preacher Bar. We're right through this door. This is cool looking. Okay, cool vibe in here. Check out the host. She walk inside the door. Hello, buddy. <laughs> Definitely got like a tiki vibe going on in here. What you got there? Oh yeah, nice little mural. It's all 2000s. Oh my gosh, I think I had that phone. Yeah. The Nokia. That's amazing. 
Just to show you what's going on in here. Very neat. Okay, the Preacher Bar. And on the porch of the Preacher Bar, there's actually a church pew. You can actually sit here and have a beer. Look at that. There's a, someone left one. And so, that's the end of it. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for being here. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Also, if it was your first time, feel free to subscribe below. There's always much ahead. That's not just a slogan I say. It, it's true. There's going to be another video. And also, it's a way of life. Know that you're awesome. Know that you're loved. And no matter who you are, what you're going through, there's always much ahead. And if you go check out the Wizard of Oz Museum, make sure you tell them Tampa J sent you. Really cool spot. Again, I was so surprised on all that was in there it was so immersive there was so much things to see i could probably go back there and make a whole nother video and not show anything i showed before and that over 2000 over 2000 things in there so go check it out all right that's it we're gonna head back to tampa we got about a two and a half hour drive could be three with uh the traffic going through orlando theme park area we'll see but um thanks for watching guys i really appreciate it also check out Chris the Girl's video. There'll be a link in the description below. Subscribe to Chris the Girl. Appreciate it. Who's about to hit 10,000 subscribers. We're, we're You're creeping up. Inching, inching along. Go over subscribe, let's get her there, let's go. Yeah, that's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Love you guys, bye-bye. See ya, watch ya. Bye. Bye. See ya.